I have to I have to interrupt you because this is the time of the year where I read a lot of things off my phone. The draft, free agency. I'm going to read off my phone. Our Adrian Wojnarowski reporting. The Lakers are near a deal to acquire Washington's Russell Westbrook friends for Kuzma, Montrose Harrell, KCP, and a 2021 first round pick. But what so happened to Buddy Hill? Kuzma. Well, look, the deal isn't that you just said it's not done yet. But no Those one listens to me. But no one listens to me, Rachel. <laughs> All I'm going to say is <laughs> Russell Westbrook, obviously an LA guy huge, huge name value coming to the Lakers, former MVP. If that deal ends up going through instead, what do you think, Holy Richard Jefferson? wow. <laughs> now, again, we talk about great fits for both teams. Mm -hmm. Like, you talk about, obviously, these are role players. Now, Russell Westbrook, he is Russell Westbrook. Like, this man <laughs> averaged a triple-double again. I think it was four out of the last yes. five seasons. Set the but record this set, year. Yeah, set the record all time. Now, this is going to be an interesting opportunity because we've talked about how much the Lakers needed shooting. Now, go back to that Houston Rockets series where the Lakers beat the Houston Rockets. What one of the Lakers' defensive things were they're going to double-team James Harden and stay at home in the shooters and make Russell Westbrook shoot. Yep. So now, all of a sudden, the Lakers, if that's the same formula, Russell Westbrook's either got to facilitate for everybody or make sure that he knocks down some shots. So I'm really curious to see that fit. Not from a talent standpoint, because yeah. we know Russ can play, but how it fits around Brown and AD. I do think that his talent as a distributor yes. is underrated. When we talk about triple doubles, a big part, one of the columns yes, of that is, is assist. the assists, yes. right? And I think when people say, oh, he's just stat padding, no. those assists are made buckets for his teammates. Yes. And the Lakers certainly have been looking for someone who can put other guys to in that position, in yes. a position to succeed. Nick, what do you think if this goes through if this happens, they're not getting Buddy healed in that 3% shooting we were just talking about. But Rates, they're getting a guy who's going to be motivated as hell to show everybody that he can make it work in his hometown. And I think that is yep. huge here for Westbrook because he hears all the criticisms the last few years. Oh, he can't be that guy that is a top-tier player on a title team. Well, now, in this case, he'd be playing with LeBron. He'd be playing with AD, and he'd be playing in a place that he has a huge comfort level in in L.A. So I think this is gigantic for Russell Westbrook. And if this one goes through, I think he is going to have a huge impact on the revitalization of a Lakers team that really looked tired and a little bit old at the end of the year. Well, look, everyone who watches this show knows I'm in on Russell Westbrook. I just think the value added. What? Why are you laughing at me? Where's Bradley Beal going? Well, <laughs> if Russell's gone. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Golden State Warriors, congratulations. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm well, joking. I'm joking. <laughs> sort of. Kind of. Uh, I was going to say, you know how in I am on Russell Westbrook. Love him. And the reason why I think he adds such value to franchises is I do think he does a lot of things on the court that he doesn't get credit for, that his teammates will tell you make a difference. There's a reason Bradley Beal said it is his favorite. Russ was his favorite teammate he has ever had. And Bradley's had a lot of really elite teammates. So yeah. I think that factor and his fit in a locker room is great. And then just, and I know this is not a basketball thing, but his fit in the community is going to be exceptional if this deal goes through. He has already started a school in the Los Angeles area. And as Nick mentioned, his desire to do L.A. proud, I think, will make a difference. And don't forget, when everybody say he's stat padding, understand, go look at his record, his team's record, when he Amen. gets a triple-double. So that's an if impact, whether win, defense, they win. win. The win percentage in those triple doubles is through the roof so while there might be some elevated stats it generates wins and that's the most important things when it comes to stats we, we are not even we're not what even the, within an now, I mean, I'm tired it is already, already These here four kids behind <laughs> just us just wait for the rest uh, of the night there is much much more coming thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to ESPN plus to Russell Westbrook possibly joining the Lakers and LeBron AD and crew <laughs> Well, first of all, if he ends up with the Lakers, obviously, even though they were in the championship picture last year before AD and LeBron periodically went down, de definitely Russell Westbrook elevates your chances. There's no denying that. He averaged about 22 a game, which was down by about five points from his previous year, but he shot better from three-point range. First time he shot better than 30% from three-point range over the last four years. He's 32 going on 33 in November. He's an electrifying athlete. We all know that. An incredible finisher at the basket an incredible uh, player in the open court. The question about Russell Westbrook is going to be very, very simple, and that's going to pertain to his shot. 
from the perimeter. Can he be a better three-point threat? Because usually that's what things come down to in the Western Conference postseason play. That's the question about him, but that appears to be the only question. He's a significant upgrade, not just from, you know, a uh, shooter or anybody else, but all the guys mentioned in the trade, the Kuzmas, Harolds of the world, Contavious Caldwell Popes. None of them even combined are Russell Westbrook, particularly when he gets going. And the notion of him being with LeBron and being with Anthony Davis is something that's incredibly, incredibly formidable, particularly when you consider the fact that it's Laker tradition, the Staples Center, that's his home, et cetera, et cetera. It would be an electrifying situation, no doubt. How would you answer that question? Can Russ be that threat, that three-point threat? Oh, hell no. That's my only reservation about him. He defends. He goes all out. He never cheats you with effort. He's a superstar talent. Uh, he is the most athletic point guard in the history of the National Basketball Association. Make no mistake about that. But when defenses come playoff time, defenses, when they get back on defense and they don't give you but so many opportunities in the open court and they turn you into a half-court team and you struggle to hit three-point shots, that can be detrimental. Now, LeBron James, he could create shots for LeBron James. He certainly could create shots for Anthony Davis along with various other teammates that he'd have available and maybe they'd hit those shots. But if you're asking him to be that shot maker, well, there's a reason that he's lost to the likes of Steph Curry, um, Donovan Mitchell, and, of course, uh, uh, you know, uh, Damian Lillard in the postseason. It's primarily due to the fact that those dudes are marksmen, especially Steph Curry and Damian Lillard. And Russell Westbrook, that's the one thing you can't say about him. Everything else is there. There's a question mark in terms of his long-range perimeter shooting. I know LeBron didn't go to the Lakers to just get one title. If this goes through with this lineup, this current roster, what's the, what's the Lakers' window to get another chip before it's all done? I think two years. I think they'd have two seasons. Uh, you know, Russell Westbrook will be 33 next season, 34 the season after that. But let, let's be very, very clear. He is a superstar. He's a superstar talent, make no mistake about it. Anthony Davis, when healthy, is a superstar, one of the top five players on the planet, but his durability is a question mark. And we all know that LeBron James is one of the top two players on the planet. I don't care what Giannis or anybody else is doing. We know how great that is. And so this would definitely be a trio to be reckoned with. Um, but still, Brooklyn would have something to say about it. To a lesser degree, Milwaukee would have something to say about it. If the Clippers stayed together and everybody was healthy, they'd have something to say about it so there would be teams in both conferences that would try to be roadblocks and they'd have a legitimate chance but there is no question if this deal goes through it would be a significant upgrade for the Los Angeles Lakers and they would clearly be one of the favorites if not the favorite to win it all because you had some people having them as the favorite last year when it was just LeBron and Anthony Davis. Imagine if Russell Westbrook was in that lineup. That's how big this deal is. There's no doubt about that. Stephen A. Smith breaking down. I appreciate you. Oh, all right. Nearing a deal with the Wizards to acquire Russell Westbrook for Kyle Kuzma, Montrez Harrell, and Contavious Caldwell Pope and a 2021 first round pick. Sources tell our Adrian Wojnarowski what a power shift of Russell Westbrook potentially joining LeBron James out in L.A. As we now bring in Woj, she's joining us now from Brooklyn as we prepare for tonight's draft. Woj, what else can you tell us about this Laker deal for Westbrook? Well, this has been a conversation I'm told that has gone back and forth uh, for a period of time now and that the two sides now feel like they are nearing a possible deal that would deliver Russell Westbrook to uh, the Lakers. Now, the Lakers had continued and had been talking also simultaneously about a, about a deal that would have brought them a Buddy Heald from Sacramento for, for some of the parts that are in this proposed Wizards trade. Uh, Kyle Kuzma and Montrez Harrell. Montrez Harrell opted into his contract for next season. Uh, earlier today, I was told, and that allows him to be included in these trades. I think Sacramento would still like to be aggressive uh, in trying to get that deal complete. But I think for Washington, the chance to get some salary cap flexibility moving forward with Bradley Beal, bring back, uh, you know, KCP, Kyle Kuzma, Montrez Harrell, you know, some solid veteran players, uh, another first round pick in this year's draft, and then see if they can try to re-sign Bradley Beal 
and then be able to go out in the marketplace and try to get a big free agent in the future. But right now, uh, Washington and L.A. are trying to complete this deal. Unbelievable. Russell Westbrook was already the first MVP to be traded in consecutive seasons. So he's just adding now three straight seasons of an MVP being traded. Uh, really unbelievable there. What other teams are engaged in trade talks among the top of the draft? Well, certainly Philadelphia continues to try to find uh, a new home for Ben Simmons. Uh, they're asking for a lot. Their asking price is steep. Simmons has four years left on his deal. Uh, 